All right, live on location at the Dog Pound. It is August 19th. Had Big Boy running for the first time last night. I'm gonna show you a couple of, quickly a couple of the upgrades I made, problems I had last year. Um, we're gonna start right here, I guess. I got took a really good hit in that uh, side control arm, and if you get looking at them right, you can tell that that one, this one over here on this side is a wee bit tweaked. Um, pretty much about killed the ball joint, at least I think. Um, tie rod. I don't know if I got to check with my sanctioning body and see if it's legal or not, but you know, we're out, we're out, we're in demo derby. We're out there to wreck shit, but we're also out there to put on a good show. So, um, little things like that, especially the tie rods. Uh, if it's legal to beef them a little bit, that'd be cool, but it might not be. Stock is stock. So, on to the next thing. That, the distributor, protect your distributor. That's all I'm going to say. You figure out how to do it. Look at more of my videos as the car is done. You'll see what I do. Um, I had a friend of mine was kind of giving me shit about it last year and told me a trick he used. I'm like, nah, I got lots of room. I got lots of clearance. First round when they when they hit me and bent me here, they also knocked my distributor apart. So, something to consider. All right. Now, for anybody running an Olds motor, newer Olds motor, actually Olds motor, I think, uh, manifolds were the same across the board, whether it was big block, small block, 260, 307, 350, 403, 454, 400. So point being, if you look around, on Cadillacs at least, you can find these stamped steel manifolds. Lo and behold, I have two. This is the set that come off this car. You can very easily see what I've done here. I literally cut that, that flange off, well, welded a biscuit in it, drilled big holes, couple 45s and boom there's headers uh, it was super simple the only thing I could have did to make it any cooler was brought them in together tied them all in together but I'm not that good yet um, same with the passenger side the driver side I cut it off drilled you know, drill a hole drill a hole drill a hole drill a hole you know in act in actuality if a guy wanted to he could really super easily do uh, do uh, one big tube header off it, off those, you know, just drill a big ass hole in the center, run one big old stack up off it, get some the look, get some the sound. I like stacks for a couple reasons. If you put the tractor stackers on them, tractor flappers, excuse me, spare parts, we'll be taking extra stuff. Flagstaff in a couple weeks, if I didn't mention it. Labor Day weekend, 30th and. Uh, or excuse me, 31st and 1st. So, we're getting stuff together. Thankfully, the car was built. I've got a fresh front clip sitting out here that we got to put some bolts back in. The guy that I got, well, all the extra parts on this car come out of this car. Uh, bumper, um, of course, front clip hood, new core support. All mine was pretty well mangled, so we got fresh tin for it. Uh, we'll get that painted and get it on. I got to do clearancing on my tires. Now that the car's been run, I, I feel okay to clearance it a little bit more. We got to get a different battery. Or get a new battery, I should say. Oh, hell. Got to watch that. This thing, if I grab it in the wrong place, it will shut itself off. I meant to do this part before. Use a big old truck battery. It goes in a big old military ammo box. Make sure she's in park. I've got to build a lockout for my slammer shifter there. Still got to clean out the inside of the car a little bit more. Like I said, it's set for last season. Funny. All these sticks down here, those are from a miscellaneous, one from each heat, basically. 
So let's see if she'll run today. She ran yesterday. guys she's alive that's this year's uh, derby car so far you guys guard in the yard booty boy hi yo we will talk to you in a while oh so far hi baby hi boys okay thanks guys we're gonna post this more later